Find your chokehold and overcome it. Some of you sitting here today or watching by video, your chokehold may have been what Joan said. You hear somebody say, well, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. And you say, oh, that's, that's wonderful, but I've always dealt with fear, so there we go. Refuse to say I've always done anything. Be bold and say, you know what? I'm coming out. I'm getting out of this closet of fear or, or, or hurt or, or offense. Or, uh, the biggest closet I had to come out of was anger. Does it ever try to come back on me? Of course it does. Fear of men. Does it ever try to come back on me? Yeah, I walked in it so many years. Dear Lord, I, that, that, that devil wants to die slowly. But he's dead. And that's, what, that's how you do it. You just start confessing. That's the way it is. Because the Word of God said, I can ask anything. We know for a fact. We know intellectually and we know in our spirit that God does not want us fearful. It's way too many scriptures for that. I love what Andrew Womack said. Here's a guy that's got an audience, a potential audience of 3.2 billion people. Now, if you sit and talk with him, you'd never dream that he even thought about having an audience possibility like that. But I, I still remember him saying this. When he was a kid, he loved sports so much, but he didn't play because he, was, he didn't want to have to shake somebody's hand and introduce himself. You know, in sports, you lose or win, you shake the... He didn't want no part of that. He was that introverted. And he made this statement. He said, if I allow my mind to go there... I couldn't do what I'll do today. See, we don't allow ourselves to go there. Why? Because we're a child of God and we don't have a spirit of fear. And that's about anything in life. You may say, well, I, my, my, my chokehold is finances. I still, I still have a problem believing God wants to bless me. You get in the scripture and find out why he wants to bless you. You see how this elevates us? Not in a negative sense. I mean, edifies us, brings us up. See, here's one last thing, maybe. It's all I got right at the moment. <laughs> when you find your chokehold and you pass through that, you're taking a whole boatload of people with you. 